got a 3.1 was a maintenance release which had strong focus on the UI and UX aspects of Guru. In this video, let's talk about the improvements on the 2D workspace and compare the 3.0 and the 3.1 versions of it. Previously on Guru 3.0, when you select a node 2D or any node that has a node 2D as parent class, when you select it with the selection mode tool, you have this cage here. So uh, it's a bounding box with some handles that you can use to scale your selection. Now in 3.1, you notice that when you select a node 2D, you don't have this cage to transform it. So you can scale it using this bounding box that we had in Go2.0. Now instead, we have a new transform tool. So if we go here, we have three transform tools now, one for moving, one for rotating, and we have now this new scaling tool. So we can enter on a scaling mode here, and you can see that we have these handles now, so we can use them to scale our selection. And the shortcut to use this scale tool is S. So you can use Q to go to the selection mode and you can use W to change to the move mode. So once you have something selected, you can change to the move mode. We have the rotation, which is E. So you can change to the rotation mode and the scaling mode is S. Another nice improvement to the UI and to the UX in general is that now in 3.1, we have these pivots or these crosses here. And this pivot will be displayed whenever we have a node 2D that doesn't have an intrinsic graphic aspect to it. So sprites, polygon 2D, they won't have this pivot, but any other node that by itself doesn't has a graphical aspect, so a texture or something, it will use this pivot. And also, if you hover on this pivot, you see that it will display every node that is under the cursor. So if you go here, we have uh, the level, the background, and the supernova spawner. And also notice that it will draw the type of node that this pivot is pointing to. So we have level and background, a simple node to this, and we have the supernova spawner, a position to D. Something interesting about this pivot is that it, since you, it will display all the nodes that are under the cursor, you can use the list selection tool, so this tool here, to select what you actually want to select under the cursor. So if you don't want to select uh, the first thing that the, the selection tool will select, so in this case, the supernova spawner, you can use the list tool to go to one of these nodes that are being displayed through this pivot feature and select what you actually want to get into your selection. So let's say uh, the background here, and then I can change the move tool and move only the background. There is also a shortcut for that, but it will only be displayed if you are on the selection mode. So when this tool is being selected, it's being used. There is the Alt right mouse click button. So if you right click holding Alt, it will show up this list of selections that you can use. So background here, and then I can change the move tool and move only the background. Something you have to keep in mind with this pivot and with the list selection is that these features will only work if these nodes are accessible through the scene tree here. So you can see that the moon has editable children. So uh, this is why this is being displayed. But you can see that if I go here into the Astro Mouse, so this character here, I only have access to these two nodes here. So the Astro Mouse, which is a kinematic body, and the Astro Mouse Spawner, which is this node here. But if I to go on the editable children here, now if I go here, I have access to all the nodes that compose this extra mouse scene. Previously on Goro 3.0, the only way that you can zoom in and out on the to the workspace is either you can go to one of these buttons, so in or out, or you can use the mouse wheels. But since I'm using a Wacom tablet, I don't have access to a mouse screw. So the only way that I could zoom in and out on this to the workspace is by using one of these buttons. But now in Goro 3.1, we can set up the, in the editor, editor settings, and we can search for zoom. You can see that now we have the option to set shortcuts for zoom in, out, and reset the, the zoom in the canvas item editor, so in the to the workspace. 
And now we can properly achieve this zoom using the keyboard, which is very nice, especially if you have a broken mouse wheel or if you are using a Wacom tablet. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time.